Our goals for the season are, are pretty simple for us. You know, obviously we'd love to win a national championship. That's our ultimate goal of what we'd like to do. Uh, we think we've assembled a group of guys that can do that. You know, we think we've got some, a lot of returners from, from a year ago. Obviously we lost some good players, but I think the guys that returned uh, understood what went wrong last year a little bit and how to handle it. And I think we're much bigger, much more athletic, and a much tougher team than we were a year ago, uh, which is really going to help us, you know, especially on the defensive end, returning so many guys, uh, only losing one starter from a year ago, then returning Lito Flanagan and Austin Howard and adding Tristan Pace into the mix along with Chaz Collison and our long pole gives us the depth we need and moving uh, Parrish Young from a starting midfielder a year ago to our first line who will play a little bit of offense but mostly going to be a midi D now with Jake Brown. We feel it gives us two really big, strong, athletic midi D guys there and then backing them up is Tyler Russo and John Bercy who are two more experienced guys and a senior and a junior and we think that helps us. Then going kind of into the midfield there, you know, Kyle Donofrio and Kyle Karassian are really two very veteran guys along with Morgan Pritchard who've played in a ton of big games for us. And I think that's really going to help us to get some of those experienced guys uh, in the lineup. And, you know, and then our attack with uh, Tyler Furman, who's a tough, big, athletic kid, Wade Corbin, adding Brandon Watson, who's a transfer for National Community College and getting JT Thielen back from a year of being ineligible gives us a, you know, a pretty potent attack. You know, the key is, though, to getting to where we want to go is playing together and understanding that what it takes to, for what it takes to sacrifice a little in order to be successful on the bigger level. And that's what our schedule helps us set up with well, is that, you know, we open up with number two RIT and then we play, you know, I think, number six Gettysburg and then we play a top uh, 15 team in OWU and then we play number one Salisbury and then we play probably a top 15 team in Lynchburg and then a top five team in York and then you know another top five team and uh, Tufts gives us that experience of what we're going to be like so you know we'll know where, we're, where we are in about three or four weeks here but I think the schedule sets us up to be successful and for us to be successful in the long run because we're definitely going to be tournament, uh, tournament tested with the schedule that we play especially going into conference play and then hopefully it sets us up really well for the NCA. but you know we're going to have to take each game one at a time understanding the toughness and the specifically the mental toughness it takes because the season is built with a lot of peaks and valleys and we can play mentally tough through those situations, not flinch, and just keep on playing and be patient, we're going to have a pretty good year. But we'll see what happens when we open up an RIT, uh, but we were very confident in what we have and we think the added toughness, added size, and the desire of these guys to be successful is going to be a big key to what we do this year.